How's it going, everyone? I'm here interviewing <laughs> Tia Ballard. Yes, hi. <laughs> is this your first time at KomoriCon? It is. It's my first time in the state. Oh, you've never been to Portland, Oregon? Never. Oh, wow. It's been lovely. The people are very, very nice. <laughs> What's your favorite con you've been to? Uh, this is going to be super lame sounding, but this is probably, this is one of the best I've been to in a long time. I go to a lot. Um, everybody was so kind. The, the attendees make it for me. It's really hard to pick a favorite because, I mean, I'm here for you guys, and if you're having fun, I'm having fun. Oh, of course. So, um, yeah, most cons <laughs> are the best con, but I've had a really, really good time this weekend. Awesome. What did you do or st what? Okay. What did you do or study before doing voice acting? Uh, I've always studied cartoons. That's been my thing. Um, as far as schooling goes, I was an art major. I have a teaching degree. I've studied psychology, communication and speech, and theater. What are your top three favorite um, characters you voiced? Uh, as of right now, there's Zero Two, Darling and Franks, uh, Happy from Fairy Tale, and. Insert any character you want in the third place, and I'll say yes. Would Megumi work? There, there we go. That's right. Megumi. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Would you prefer um, Pilot Aquarian or Fuego? Oh, uh, I don't know. Fuego sounds really fun. Um, I think that. <laughs> So, so what was it like directing Kakarill Bed and Breakfast? I haven't seen it yet, but my, my cameraman oh, has seen it before. Really he can fun. ask you about it. I actually, uh, I assisted on that. So we have directors and we have assistant directors um, just helping getting the things done so they're out on time, um, being kind of a right-hand man. So I was assistant on that, and it was so much fun. Uh, the director, it was my first experience being an AD, assistant director, so that means the main director gets to do all the casting and stuff like that. And it was my first time working under somebody like that. And it was a really cool experience. I got to work with a lot of actors that I don't normally get to work with. So it's cool. Oh, awesome. You got any questions for it before I go Oh, somewhere? yeah. Is that food, that all the food there, you know, that make you hungry? Yeah, it was very hard to, to be around that show because <laughs> you would eat and come in and the food looked so good and it sounded so good. It was torture. Well, <laughs> most of them are Japanese dishes. Uh, which one would be your favorite? Oh my gosh, she makes this delicious looking omelet. Oh. Um, she used it in a few episodes and oh, it's so good looking. Oh, Japanese omelets with the rice on the inside. Yes. And ketchup on the top or some red sauce. I think so, yeah. I think she made her own ketchup. Oh yeah, in she one did. Episode. Yeah. It's called tomato ketchup. Ketchup? I can smell the red eggplant. Here, give this a taste. <laughs> How is it? Delicious. <laughs> awesome. Um, is um, YouTube a good practice for potential voiceovers? Uh, I think any type of using your voice at all is good. Um, before I was a professional voiceover, I used to role play on the phone with my best friend. That's improv. I was playing a character. Uh, so any, anything that's fun for you, that you can use your tool and learn and play in a safe environment, I'm all for it. Yeah, because I've actually been doing YouTube for two years and stuff, so. And I've taken a couple of voice acting classes, so you've heard of Tony Oliver? Yeah. I did the Ventures of Voice Acting when he did that thing before. Awesome, yeah, that's great. Funny, bang, zoom stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> like teaching is a... <laughs> Uh, I wish we work. had workshops like that when I started. It, they're really a great resource. Of course, one of my friends from Dallas, he's like, oh, you're too old. You can never get in voice acting. That's not nice. <laughs> but now I'm having like almost 200. A lot of my fans say, give it a shot, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're never too old to do a new thing. It's always possible. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right. Well, since I told you I'm a food reviewer, um, what's your favorite food since you directed it in? Oh, my yeah. gosh. 
Um, I don't know. I, I will say this. When I eat pizza, I like to eat it in the bathtub with a crown on my head. I like to go full out pizza um, because I never eat it because it's kind of bad for you. So yeah. when I do it, I want to do it up big. And yes, I said the bathtub. So I like, there are certain plates that float really well. <laughs> like, like plastic plates. Put your pizza on a plastic plate, let it float in the tub with you, and when it gets to you, you take a bite. <laughs> That's the best food and experience. They should make an anime like that one day. <laughs> awesome. There's a lot of food animes already. <laughs> yeah. Like Ashi Kashi, Food Wars, Restaurant to Another World. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, would you be able to do an impression of Megumi? Because I have the thing run down. If you oh, Megumi? Megumi, yeah. Uh, from Shiki? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Death scene. Okay. Death scene, no. <laughs> Not death scene? Do you know any good other lines you could say? Because the death scene's the only thing. I, I actually don't. It has been a minute since I've played her. But I knew she, her attitude, yeah. sitting here with you, would be a very much, I'm so glad that you took the time for me. I know I'm worth it. And you know I'm worth it, so you're welcome. Who's <laughs> <laughs> got the weirder boyfriend? Aoi Tsubaki? Or Anonymy from... Uh, Anonymy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That was a quick answer for me. <laughs> I'm surprised. I thought you'd be angry about being turned into a familiar. Did you? Yeah, I did. But I'm relieved to see you don't seem mad at all. I think mad is far too tepid. Huh? I am seething. Seething with your rage! Do you ever do any, like, live action stuff? Because I looked at your, your stuff you did, like, you know, like, acting and stuff or commercials or something? No, I actually don't. I'm one of the rare ones that don't do that type of thing. Um, I, uh, I've always just been into cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. Well, okay, who, who inspired you when you got into, I mean, when you want to be a voice actor? Like, who was your favorite celebrity and stuff? Oh, my gosh. I'd have to say Caitlin Glass. She is one of my oh, yeah, fellow yeah, voice actors. <laughs> mm -hmm. very nice. Uh, she played my favorite character in an anime, Triella from Gunsinger Girl, and I loved that show before I was a voice actor. I still do, um, but she was the one that I was like, I want to be like her. She's got this beautiful voice. And to this day, and we're friends now, if I direct her uh, in the booth, I still am just like, I love her voice. She's so awesome. So, yeah. So what's a lot of more work, ADR directing and the main character at the same time, or ADR directing is a lot more work? Or can you do both? Uh, you mean voicing or ADR directing? Yeah, both, yeah. It's both. Both of have their challenges. I like to be in control and be the boss, so directing's nice. But it's also nice to just get into a character's skin and play with them for a while and then leave and not have to worry about anything. Any <laughs> funny stories that you ever deal with before when you're like at the booth and stuff, voice acting? Uh, there's lots, but I can't save them on this channel. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for this interview. It was fun. Thank you thank very you. much. <laughs> Well, guys, that was an awesome convention at KomoriCon. Getting interviews, going to the panels, autographs, the sake tasting, everything was great. And if you guys ever want to invite me again to future KomoriCon, oh, sure, I'd love to come. Had a great time.